All right, now making his way to the cage is Mike Griner as we get our first look at Griner and the Chosen Few Fighting Championship. Again, getting checked out here by the dock and is now heading up into the cage. There he is, Griner in at 155 pounds and now his opponent. There's the alpha tile and stone tail of the tape. Griner with a one inch advantage on Copeland. Here he comes right now, Copeland ready to do battle here as an amateur and we will go back up to the cage and Chris Garrity with the official introduction ladies and gentlemen our second bout of the evening is a lightweight contest scheduled for three rounds introducing first this man fighting out of the Rob's performance motorsports red corner he weighed in at 152.2 pounds. He hails from Portage, Wisconsin. He is making his amateur mixed martial arts debut right here for the Chosen Few Fighting Championships. Representing Portage Kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Mike Greiner. His opponent, this man, fighting out of the Kearns blue corner. He represents zero to 100 fitness and hails from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He weighed in at 152.2 pounds and is also making his cage debut. Ladies and gentlemen, Biamin Copeland. Just about set for Copeland and Griner and interesting as you hear, the actual weigh-in amount then for Copeland and what he came in at, almost three pounds under what he could have come in at. Uh, does that make a difference for you, Gerald? I mean, how close do you want to be to weight, or, or does that make a difference? Uh, it can make a difference. You know, some guys are just good at cutting weight, and they can be heavier and perform and cut lots of weight. I like to stay within 10 to 15 pounds. Um, three pounds I don't think is a, a huge difference, especially at an amateur level making your debut. But uh, back to the fight, those are a couple nice kicks. Absolutely, good kicks oh, and then a good left. Oh. And down goes Griner. Griner pops back up, but wow, some oh. thuds on those kicks He's shaking of it Copeland. Off. He felt that. We got ourselves a fight. It was a retreating left hand and he just threw it again. I don't know how you aim a shot like that with your chin up in the air and your sh right shoulder back, but he landed it and he just almost landed it again. Ooh, he tried to get it then. Yeah, Griner opens himself up and Copeland takes him right down. Yes, yeah, so we can definitely see some uh, traits showing us that this is indeed an amateur fight. As uh, Chris was pointing out, the fading left hand with the chin up in the air. But hey, they're in there scrapping. That's what we want to see. And now a reversal. Got to like that as Griner reverses Copeland. And Copeland trying to return the favor now. And a little ground and pound action here as shots raining down onto the head. Copeland's got to oh, move. Copeland. Gave up his back and both hooks. He's got to move out of this or it's going to be over. Copeland in trouble as he made a mistake after the reversal by Griner. Griner now trying to oh, get a choke out. in. This is what I love when you get in some of these amateur fights and you see guys like Griner that gets hit, gets knocked down, gets taken down, but still stays calm. Everything he trained was right there. Quick reversal. Now he is not allowing Copeland any room. Damage when he's in the mount, and he's going for a submission when he's in the back, oh. and he's not letting Copeland go anywhere. Copeland again trying to roll over anything to get out of this right now as it has been all Griner since that reversal. And you talk about, you know, going back to your training. So many guys, especially the younger guys, you see them panic. I mean, you could almost see the moment that the panic starts yeah, setting. Right. That's, That's not it for Griner. Ground and pound. This could be it if Copeland doesn't move. He's been struggling back and forth, but all he's doing is covering up, and Griner's just wailing away on Good him right shots, now. Good shots, and it. that's going to do it. Griner ends the fight as one a reversal of fortune after getting knocked down by a huge left by Copeland. Some good kicks as well. Then taken down. Griner with the reversal pounds his way out of it and is victorious here in round number one of this one. Wow, what a fight for Mike Griner. We will come back and get the official word right after this on TVW. At two minutes, 19 seconds of round number one for your winner by TKO, Mike Griner.
Griner! Impressive victory for Griner as he gets the TKO in round number one and reversed what was a bad situation for him and a big win for Griner here. I'm sure his girlfriend is happy about that. Hi again, Diane. We will be back with our next fight. We'll be taking a look at Pete Lowe again as he's going to try to get back on the winning track. He's up next right after this on CBW.